Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer video. Today we've got the HP OfficeJet Pro 8710. Basically, if you're having any issues with your print quality, a certain color just isn't printing, or you have an overall print quality issue, I'm gonna show you a method today to be able to fix that problem cheaply, quickly, and inexpensively. I recently came out with a print head cleaning kit that I'm going to uh, share with you in just a moment. Uh, there's going to be a link for this cleaning kit in the description below. So that is going to be in the description below and uh, I find this cleaning kit absolutely necessary to doing this project. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is um, you're going to want to open this uh, front part of the printer just like that. There's a crevice in here to where you can kind of just slip it off and your print head is going to come right to the middle there. Okay, at this point, you are going to be taking out your ink. Now, let me explain something about the ink really quick. You really need to make sure that you are not running low ink because a lot of times what causes this problem is running your ink too low. So what I'm going to recommend right now is you buy some new ink before you proceed with the project um, if you're running low ink because you're just going to end up with the same issue if you keep running your ink low. I'm also going to leave a link in the description below for some new ink. You can go ahead and purchase that. Um, it's going to be some remanufactured 952 or 952 XL uh, color and black ink so you can save some money on that. So make sure that if you're doing this project uh, you go ahead and buy that ink. Okay, so next, I really wanted to get close up in here so that you could really see. This is your print head, and there is a latch behind the print head that you lift up just like that. It's very simple. You lift it up, your print head is now out of place, and you can pull it up and pull it out. Okay, once, it, once it's out, you're going to want to get it into a container. Okay, so this is where you're going to need to use this cleaning kit. You're going to need to use this cleaning kit here. And uh, this cleaning kit, the uh, solution on this is has ionized uh, cleaning fluid. And that is going to make sure that there's no damage to your printer when you are using it. You can use this on a wide variety of printers, but I highly recommend that you use my solution. I have been doing this for some years now and have found that this is the cleaning kit that I have had the most success with. So what you're going to do is you're just going to fill up your syringe with this cleaning fluid. All right, so you've got a 20 milliliter syringe here, which um, other cleaning kits do not have. And that is very important when you are actually using the syringe on the print head, because a lot of times you'll run out of cleaning solution and you have to go ahead and fill it back up. But it, this really gets all of the gunk out right away quickly. And that's really what you're needing to do when you're cleaning out a print head. So to use it, you're going to go ahead and just identify which color you're having the most issues with. And all you're really doing is you are putting this nozzle right on top of whichever one it is. In case, in this case, let's say it was black. So you're just going to get your nozzle and you're going to put it right over. You're going to grab your syringe and you're going to put this, the syringe head right over the nozzle. Make sure that it fits right over it snug. Then you're going to go ahead and just push the cleaning solution right through it. And as you notice there, the ink should come out on the other end. So I'm going to go ahead and put about 5 milliliters in there. And so on and so forth. So you would do the same with each color if you were having an overall general print head uh, issue. But if you were just having one uh, an issue with one color then you would just focus on that color and clean it all out now you can push as much cleaning solution through as as you need if you were just having color uh, issues with one color i would recommend just really sticking to that color and then moving on to the next but um <clears throat> you have a large syringe here that will get the you know push this solution through quickly and that is what is going to unclog it and going to fix the print head because that's really what the issue is at the end of the day so you have it connected here, you would just disconnect it and connect it to the next nozzle that you have an issue with. And they're all marked here, so it's very easy to identify them. Okay, once you are done with this, you make sure to clean off your print head and install it back into the printer. Also, just make sure that this board on the back is completely cleaned off. This should not be damaged if it is. 
uh, you'll have some issues. So just make sure to, there's no issue. If you get some ink on it, just make sure to clean it off and dry it down before you, uh, before you install it again or else you will have some issues. All right, so once uh, you have dried it off, you know, have a towel so that you can completely dry everything off um, so that there's no damage. And then you're gonna go ahead and grab your print head and you're gonna toss it back in make sure it is snug in place there and then again you're going to just flip this latch uh, right back down and it is in place now you can go ahead and replace your ink given that it's new ink okay, so that's really all there is to it close this back up print some uh, test pages and to do that you would just go to your uh, settings here go to your settings And you're going to go to printer maintenance and you're going to print a printer status report as long as that prints out fine then um, your quality should be back up to where it should be and you can start testing you know the other things that you were wanting to print thank you for watching um, again the link to my product is going to be in the description below i would highly recommend that you get it uh, ships out very quickly from amazon and this is a premium cleaning kit because the syringe is a larger syringe. Uh, the solution is uh, the number one so solution that I would recommend. Uh, for whatever reason this ends up not working for you, I'm uh, also going to leave a link to, in the description for a new print head um, and a new printer. So you decide whichever one you want it to do from there. Uh, but you have a few options there. You can either buy a new version of this printer or a print head. A uh, new print head would usually solve that problem. Uh, even if you have error codes, it'll solve it. I hope I was able to help you solve your problem and save hundreds of dollars. If I was, um, please leave a like on this video and make sure to uh, comment if you have any questions. Also, when you buy my product, I would uh, greatly appreciate you uh, leaving some positive feedback. Okay, so it should look just like that. If it looks just like that, then you're good to go. And... Uh, you have fixed the problem. If you're having still a little bit of streaks, then you know where you need to, uh, you know where you need to focus on. That's all I have for today. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time.